Hello everyone, this is Tracy from Snazzy Moon Designs. Today I'm going to make a quick video to show you how to add a name to a design that you have purchased from Etsy using Affinity Designer software. First I'm going to open Affinity Designer. Now this software is what I use to make my designs and to personalize my designs and to print out my designs. Okay, so I've opened Affinity Designer. Now, if you just purchase this, this will be over here. Okay, so I'm going to open a new document. And I am going to select this 8.5 by 11. And you can see over here, it's 8.5 by 11, 300 DPI. With a, and I'm checked the transparent background. And then I want to select this landscape orientation and create. Okay, so here is my eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper in landscape mode. Now we need to go get our design. You will come over here to this left side, click on the place image tool. Click on that. And my designs are right here. You will need to come over here and search for your design depending on which folder you have it under. Um, let's say I want to add a name to this design right here. I click on that. I'm click on that. Okay, and there's several ways you can get the design into your um, software. That's one way I do it. Another way you can do it, delete that. Just click on this again. Click on the design you want and click open. And then click on here like that. Okay, so you can see the dimensions of this design are 9.3 by 8.25. Now, when you purchase a design from Etsy, they're not all going to be the same size. You need to make it the size that you're going to use for the tumbler that you have. So you have to measure your tumblers and make sure that the size you print out is going to fit on your tumbler. Now I have found that 9.4 by 8.2 works great on pretty much all tumblers. Now if it may be a little big, you can always just trim it down a little bit using a uh, paper trimmer. I use a Carl, Carl Rotary paper trimmer. So if my design is a little too wide or a little too long, I can just trim just a little off the edges when I print it out. And uh, you can see me doing that in uh, one of my other videos. So like I said, 9.4 by 8.2 is a pretty good starting point to print off a design. Okay, so now we have our design. And I want somebody wants me to personalize this and put a name on it. Okay. So you look at the design and say, okay, where's the best name to put a, I mean, where's the best place to put a name on this design? Well, this design here, you're going to either put it in this area right here or this area right here. And when you put a name on a design, it's best to put the name from bottom to top. So on these designs here, I like to put my name right here. So what I do is I take and click on this blank space right here on your eight and a half sheet of paper, your document, and you t click on portrait and then OK. Now this aligns the paper the same way your printer is going to print it. So we need to turn this. Click up here to rotate clockwise. And now when the printer prints out your design, it's going to print it out just like this. On that eight and a half sheet of paper, it's going to be 9.4 by 8.2. But I want to add a name to this. So we'll come over here to this artistic. You can click on this and you'll see two choices. Artistic text tool or frame text tool. I always use the artistic text tool. Now you can see how that's changed to an A. Come over here, left click and drag down. And then let go. Okay, come over here, you see 
the um, text you just created. Obviously, I haven't started it. So we're going to type in a name. Let's just type in any name. Let's type Elizabeth. So I can hardly see that because if I look over here, you can see that the text color is black. Come over here to this little color wheel. We can change that to white. Well, since we've already texted it in black, it's not going to show up. So click over here, and then click on this again, and drag it down to the white. There, now you can see what you're typing. Now, I could have I just selected white and typed that to start off with. But either way, we have the name. Okay, now center it. See the green line? That shows me that it's centered. Now you want to leave a little room between the bottom of the name and the seam. Just to give you a little bit of room to work with because you don't know how much you're going to trim it or how much you're going to overlap your seam. That way you're not covering your name that you have just created. So now when we look at this, I mean you can print it like this, but you want to kind of make the name match the design. And uh, I like to look at the colors that I have on the design and kind of help match that with the name I'm putting on there. So I think this green right here would look good for this name. Come over here to your color picker tool. Hold down your left mouse button and drag it over to the color we want. I like this green right here. Let go of your left mouse button. Now if you look up here you'll see it's got that color. Then what we do is just click on this color right here and it and it transferred it over here well I just messed up though because it just did my whole design but that's not a big deal you'll probably end up doing that also just come up here to edit click on undo set fill undo set fill and it's right back to where it was now the mistake I made was I did not click on this now you see how it's got the box around it now we can click on this and it changed the name to the color that we wanted. Now this color is pretty close to this and it kind of blends a little better than just the white. Now another thing I like to do is look at the text or the font and try and match that up a little bit so it kind of flows with the theme. Click on your name again, come up here to your text choices your font choices now I have probably more than you have it depends on what's on your computer I've added a lot of fonts to mine and uh, as you can see this almanade looks pretty good I mean it kind of matches the text that's already there kind of blends it a little better now you got to be careful see how that E or Z has dropped down right onto the seam so we need to move this up a little bit away from the seam that way we have a little bit of work room right there but we don't want to get too close to the design I'm going to stretch this out a little bit stretch this out a little bit and center it again there it is okay so now we have added a name it kind of matches the text it matches the color and if you're good with that you can print it like it is now before you do that you can print it just like it is or if you decide well I better save this just in case the person that I'm making this for doesn't like it or it doesn't you can adjust this so we're gonna come up here click on file save and then you're gonna have a choice down here where you can type in what you want to save I'm just going to put sample right now and save it. So now you've got that saved. That way you can come back and change it if something goes wrong or it doesn't print out right or your power goes out, anything. Okay, so now to print this, we still have the 9.4 by 8.2, which is good. Come up here to File, Print. Now you're going to see under Printer, Profile is always going to be custom. Under printer, you're going to select your printer. I have three printers. For this one, I am going to use the 
4760. Click on properties. I click on the profile that I have for that printer, which I show how to set all that up in another video. Click on that profile. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, we're going to come down here. Don't worry about layout. Don't worry about rust layout. Just come to color management. We want the color handling performed by the printer. And then we're going to click on relative color metric. It gives it a nice look to it. Now, the one thing I forgot to mention, I mean, you can print it out like it is right now, but a secret that I use on my designs is I like to add some vibrance to them. So let's go back to the design, click Control A, which is select all, and then Control G, which just grouped all these together. As you can look over here, it just grouped it. Okay, now go down here to Adjustments. Click on that. You'll see this menu. We want to add some vibrance to this. This is what makes it pop. It makes it look nice. Come down here to Vibrance. And move this to 40%. And then your saturation, you're going to change to 10%. Okay. I mean... You're thinking, well, that didn't do very much. But look at the design, okay? And we'll click out of that. Now, what this little check mark, I can uncheck it, and you'll notice a difference in the design. Here is with vibrance, without. You see? You see the difference. With, without. So the it makes it just a little nicer. So when you print it out, it's got a little bit of color pop to it. So now we can go back to File, Print, select your printer. It's not that one. It's, I use the 4760 or I have the 1500,000 or whatever it is. And uh, so you're going to find your printer on here. And then you click Properties, click your profile, hit OK. Come down here to Color Management, Perform by Printer relative color metric and then you will click OK and it will print it out and that's how you can add a name to a design okay let's do one more example and uh, hopefully you'll get the hang of it so I'm just going to delete this and uh, we'll get it back to where I started okay now we're back to our eight and a half by eleven landscape sheet of paper with a transparent background. I'm going to come over here to place image tool. Click on that. And then this time let's find a different Tumblr design that I want to add a name to. So let's just use these Zodiac Tumblrs. I've added names to these before too. So mine's Libra so I'll pick Libra. Hit open or and then once you hit open, double click, or just click once, it'll put it on there. Center it. See the red line and the green line, now it's centered. Come over here, you can see this design is 9.3 by 8.2. Click on that, change it to 9.4 by 8.2. Okay, 9.4 by 8.2. Like I said, I like to print out that size because I can always trim it down a little bit according to my tumbler okay if you look on here when you add a name you don't really want to you can't add it here you can add it here and here if you want to do it in this direction but I like to add if you look on here this text is going in this direction so I'm going to put the name on this side in this direction from bottom to top so first we're going to change that document set up to a portrait and this is the way your printer is going to print out in portrait mode next i'm going to click on the design and rotate it clockwise so now i can add the name right here we still have 9.4 by 8.2 okay we're going to come over here to the a which is for your to add your name or character artistic text tool click on that 
hold down your left mouse button and drag down a little bit just so you can see some text. Let go and type in the name. I'm going to put my name in there this time. Okay. And we will make this a nice... Oh, let's drag it open a little bit bigger right here. Click over here to move. Now I can move this around a little bit. I'm going to stretch it out. Like I said, this is all personal preference. There's no right or wrong ways. Put this on here. And I could bring it down right here, kind of line it up with that Libra. Since it's a short name. If you have a long name, you can stretch it out all the way up from here to there. I'm going to put that right there. Now that lever is in white, and this, I'd like to kind of match that. I think I'm going to try and match the font also. So first let's change the color of this text to white. All I do is take and drag this little dot up to the white right here. As you can see, it changed that to white. Remember, you got to watch the space between the bottom of the Y and your seam. you got to have some room to work with right there. Okay, so I want to try and make this a little fancier, kind of like matching that font right there. I'm going to click on it again, come up here to my fonts, and see what I have. As you can see, it'll go through each one. See, that one there looks pretty close. I think that would work with this, so we'll just use that one. And I'll drag it down a little bit closer to the seam. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And we'll put it right there. Okay. So now remember, you press Control A to select all. Control G to group. As you can see, it grouped all that. So if I turn this, it'll all stay together. See how it just stays together now. Now, if I didn't group that, my text would have stayed there and my design would have turned. Okay, so, like I showed you before, we want to add a little bit of vibrance to this. This is highlighted. Click on Adjustments. Go to Vibrance. Stretch this up to 40%. I mean, if you're 39, 41, it's not a big deal. Saturation, add to 10%. See how that made that really nice and vibrant. Now I'm ready to print it out. I'm going to click on File, Print. I'm going to come up here where it says Printer and select the printer that I have. This time I'm going to use my 15,000. I'm going to click on Properties. I'm going to come over here and select the profile or the preset that I want it to print. Click on that. Hit OK. Come down here to Color Management. I want it to be performed, the color handling to be formed by the printer, and I want it to be relative color metric. I will click OK, and it would print. But my printer's not turned on, so it's not going to print on mine. So anyway, that is a quick video to show you how to add a name to a design. And like I said, some designs you can't add a name to. I mean, you can, but it doesn't look good. So look at the design. See if it is something you can add a name to. Try and get the name to kind of match the color and the font that's already being used on the design. That way it doesn't look like it's just stuck in there. It looks like it's actually a part of the design. And I hope this video has helped you, and uh, I'm looking forward to making more. Thank you.